Hello, and welcome once again to another episode of The Naked Turner. Today, I have chucked up here a uh, poplar plate that I've been working on, and I decided that uh, I should shoot a little video of the finishing process. A few of my subscribers had asked um, how I do my finishing, and I'm going to show you right now. The first thing I do, after I have my piece sanded to, uh, right now I have it sanded to 320, I take shellac and denatured alcohol, about 50-50, maybe a little heavier on the denatured alcohol. And I apply that as a sanding sealer to the surface. And I already have one coat on here, so this will be the second coat of sanding sealer. Put a little bit on the front, a little bit on the back. A little extra out here on this edge. There we go. So once that's on there, I allow it to dry, or you can flash it off if you want to uh, using heat. Um, you could take and flash that off, but I don't advise it once you have the shellac on. If you were just using denatured alcohol to raise the grain, you could uh, flash that off. With, um, with a lighter or a flame. Anyway, so there's my second second coat of sanding seal. Then I'll allow that to dry thoroughly. It's already getting pretty nice here. And I'll grab some 400 wet dry. So I'm going to put just a tiny bit of water on it. Normally I don't use water, but since I have two coats of sanding sealer, I'm going to just use a tiny bit of water so that my abrasive doesn't gum up too as quickly. Sanding all sides, the edge, the interior, whoops, 400 grit, wet dry paper. Let me grab that. Once again, a lot of the time I don't do this either, but I haven't seen people do it, and I don't really like the um, the uh, steel woven steel wool uh, because it can get into your pores. But since I have it fairly well sealed, I'm now going to take some four aught steel wool and just lightly get rid of any of the excess. It doesn't. Uh, tend to gum up as much as sandpaper will when you're removing the sand and sealer. So it's a nice way to get rid of some of that excess sanding sealer off the surface. And I'm going to turn up the speed a little. Okay. Feels really nice. Feel one little piece of shellac. So you want to go around and just feel for any little pieces that might be on there. That feels really nice now. And it's got this piece has kind of a cool face shape here—a nose, chin, kind of a swept back uh, Peter Max kind of face. So I like it. So now, what I'm going to do is apply 
impressive finish. Okay, so the finish I'm using is a friction rub shellac base finish that has waxes, oils, and shellac in it with some denatured alcohol. I personally like using this because it's relatively durable, uh, stands up, is easy to recoat with some wax and polish, um, and I like it because it goes on fast. It's very controllable, and uh, I end up with a really nice look. You can get this product is pretty much like Shellowax, uh, Shellowax's friction rub finish, and they make a paste finish as well, which is a little bit thicker but their friction rub finish is pretty much identical to this finish that I'm using here. Okay, so I've got a coat on. Now I'm just buffing it, and you can use uh, paper. A lot of people would prefer to use paper. I prefer to use the, uh, these cotton cotton cloths because they last longer for me and I am I just I'm very careful about not getting a catch and if I do I never grab it and pinch it in my fingers I always just kind of allow it to sit on the edges of my fingers that way if it does get pulled away it's going to get pulled away and pulled out of my hand instead of me being grabbing onto it and trying to hold it even tighter okay I'm gonna turn up the speed a little here in order to buff this in. There we go. It's got a nice finish on that side. Now I'm going to do this back edge as much as I can reach up to my chuck. So now, as you can hear, I have this chucked up on my vacuum chuck, and I'm going to do a little bit of adjusting on the bottom, and then some sanding.
Okay, so I have it on my vacuum truck. And I'm just buffing it now. Don't forget, the most important thing is to be safe and have fun while you're turning. So, always remember to read, understand, and follow all the safety directions for any tool that you're using. And especially remember to wear eye protection. Be safe, have fun, keep on turning. And thanks again for watching another episode of The Naked Turner.